Okay, let's talk a little bit more about string concatenation. So I'm just going to build like a class, um, a class name with different components. So I'm going to do let, uh, let's see, subject equal geog. And again, semicolon there. Let uh, num equal. Let's see, we'll do uh, 350. And then let name equal GIS science. OK, so basically these are the components of a course uh, name. So subject, number, name. All right, so if I wanted to combine all those together into a single, um, into a, a single string, we could do that with string concatenation. So I'm just going to do that with let again. So we'll do let full name equal, and then it's basically just going to be subject plus num plus name. It's not like in that. Actually, this might be a keyword. We'll call it C name. Okay, so now let's see what happens if we do this. We're going to control S and then, oop. oh, we had to print it. Oops. So we need to do console.log and then full name. Okay, so we get geog350 GIS science. Now, as you can see here, it's all ran together. That's not exactly what we want, right? So to fix that, we could put in some spaces. So first off, after oh, first off, we need a space after the subject. So we'll do that by just adding in an empty string here. Sorry, this is gonna maybe get kicked off the page. Let me put in a return here. I don't think that will mess anything up. And then the number, and then after the number, we're gonna want to have a colon and a space and I think that'll do it so let's see here control s there we go so geog 350 colon GIS science so here we're basically just adding in spaces these are just other strings now because they're um, they're in quotes note that spaces but outside of the syntax here doesn't matter so we would run all this together it's not going to change anything. We're just basically putting spaces in there for readability. right? Another thing that's kind of interesting here is that 350 was actually defined as a number. right? It's not in quotes. If I would change this to a string, it actually is not going to impact anything. And that's because when we do this concatenation, JavaScript in the background is, is changing the data type or like casting this 350 number, turn it back into a number, into a string for us so that we can concatenate it. So that's kind of happening in background. So we don't actually have to manually convert it into a string. It's doing, it, doing that for us. Um, okay, so that's that. So let's talk about one other way that you can do um, string concatenation that can be a little bit more concise. Okay, so I'm going to get rid of this for now, and then we will type something else. Okay, so what I'm going to describe here is what's known as a template literal. And this is actually similar to the concept of an F string if you're a Python user. So um, here, we're using this symbol. I would never remember what this is called. Um, it's, the, it's the symbol that's up in the corner of your keyboard with the tilde symbol. Um, okay, so this is basically telling it that we want to do a template literal. So um, this initiates it. So basically we want to print now. If we want to print, uh, print a variable, we do dollar sign. And then in curly brackets, we place the variable. So we'll do subject and then num. And then we'll add in a colon there. And then our last part here, C name. Oh, and I got to put my number or dollar sign there. 
Okay, so control S, there we go. And we get back the same print statement. So let me expand this a little bit again. Oops. Uh, this is what's known as a string literal. So the idea is that we're placing it in inside of whatever this symbol is. Again, is the thing with the curly brackets. Can I remember what that's called? Um, dollar sign with something in brackets means a, a variable. If it's outside of brackets, it's going to be treated as plain text. So this can be a bit of a more concise way to concatenate or define a string as opposed to just using um, you know the plus sign to concat for the concatenation operation, right? So um, this. So I'm just going to add this course is that would be just plain text, right? Again. So now if we run that. We get back this course. Oops, spelled course wrong. This course is Geog three hundred and fifty GIS science, and then we could even you know like add in a period here at the end. Okay, so that's called a template literal, and that can be a little bit simpler way to build out a, a or build out a longer string or concatenate strings together than using the plus operator.